Hello guys and welcome. The legend is back. The most viewed video on my channel is about the predecessor of this watch, which were called Call Me P8. So without further ado, let me represent Call Me P8 Pro updated version of 2021. Let's unbox it and let's see what comes in the pack. So the watch comes in a little box like this. You've got user manual, both in English and Chinese, and a very, very familiar a magnetic charger to charge your watch. So let's talk about the figures first of all. Um, they do retail at 30 US dollars on AliExpress, on official Call Me store. We've got 1.69 inches display with a resolution of 240 by 280 pixels, which is not the best pixelization ever, but it doesn't affect it in any way whatsoever. The screen looks amazing anyway. Inside you'll find the battery, which is 190 milliamp battery, which charges up around about between two to two and a half hours. And the charge with a moderate use will last for over a week and a half, which is great. Uh, we also got an IP rating, which is IP67, meaning that you can take this watch into a shower, you can go for a swim in a swimming pool and so on. The processor inside of this watch is GR5515. We also got a Bluetooth 5.1, which is upgraded version. Bluetooth works really well. And the app that you're going to be using to connect this watch to your phone is called DaFit. -A so now let's have a quick look at the watch itself. I think it looks stunning. And yes, I do know that this is a clone of um, Xiaomi uh, watch. I can't remember the exact name of the model, but the build quality of this clone is just, it's astonishing. It's so thought through. The materials used are very elegant, very good looking. The screen is amazing. It's, it's actually glass on the front, um, plastic at the back. On the right side, you've got the crown. And if I just bring it very close, just just admire that crown for a second it looks absolutely amazing it looks stunning it's a multi-function crown so therefore you can use it to um, you can use it to ro for rotation you can use it to press the watch looks um, good on men's wrist also will look good on a female wrist they're not big they're not small they're just right um, just to compare this is the um, like an Apple Watch clone, so they're very pretty much similar in, in, in size. So now let's have a look at the inside of the watch. Let's, do, let's take a look at the menu and some of the options. So if you scroll from top to bottom, the first icon is indicating that the Bluetooth connection to the phone is um, connected. So we connect it to the phone. Uh, the second icon there is for your do not disturb mode. This is where you can control the brightness of the screen. You, you no longer have to click, you can just scroll it up and down, which is great. You also got a little flashlight, um, which works like that. So it just lights the screen and in the dark conditions, that'd be more than enough. This is new. I've never ever seen anything like this. This is called a cinema option. So therefore, if you went to a cinema to watch a movie with your friends or your loved ones, your family, and you don't want to be disturbed throughout, all you have to do is just press that it automatically turns off your vibration, it dims your screen and therefore just makes it a better experience altogether. Then you've got your weather. Unfortunately, I'm not connected to the phone right this minute. However, the weather is displayed for today and it also you can, if you click on it, you can actually see the weather uh, forecast for a week, which is great in my opinion. And you also got access to a, some, some of the settings. So things like in the settings, you'll find stopwatch, you'll find alarm, countdown and if you if you click on the alarm it's very very intuitive you can set it for for a day you can set the time and you can turn and on or off your alarm from the watch which is useful you've got your timer you can you can control your brightness uh, you can turn on and off your vibration you can reset your watch you can turn your watch off you can read some info about your watch and so on pretty useful then if you scroll from bottom to top that takes you into menu which is duplicated also if you were to scroll from right to left it's the same menu just different different layout different style it just depends on what you prefer to use so first thing is the messages you can read your messages just there uh, you also got a very quick access to sports so all it is is you click on sports and it immediately starts to take um, measurements it will take um, 
Second option is your sports. It's not actually sports, but it's a quick um, access to certain measurements. So for instance, if you went for a run and you just wanna, you just, you just wanna have um, measurements taken, like uh, how many minutes you ran and how many miles you've traveled, you know, like how many miles you've covered, how many calories you've burned and so on, and you don't wanna be bothered with choosing each and every single sport option out there, you can just click that and immediately it will start take all the readings. Then you've got your sleep tracking, which works great, but once again, you have to be connected to the phone. And then you've got your exercise, and this is where actually you go um, if you wanna be um, if you wanna be tailoring your um, recordings to a particular sport. So for instance, you've got walking, you've got running, you've got cycling, you've got uh, rope skipping, you've got badminton, basketball, football, and finally you've got swimming, which means IP67 rating uh, on this watch will actually work um, for swimming or you can take this watch into the shower, no problem. Then you've got your heart rate measurements. It's not the quickest, but it's very accurate. Um, it works really well, especially if you turn on the heart rate measurements uh, to be taken 24 hours a day. And the other positive thing about that is that the sensor will not take measurements. Let's say if I was to put it on a table, it will just say, um, can't take the measurements, please place it on the wrist. You can also see that you can take measurements for your um, blood pressure. You can also find the um, oxygen level in your blood um, count as well. You've got your weather. You can control your shutter. If you, if you place your phone on a tripod and you walk away, you can use your watch to take pictures or selfies of yourself. You've got the music player, which is very simple. Play, pause, um, skip tracks, nothing, nothing fancy there. You've got your breathing exercise, just in case if you feel um, a bit uh, worried or you feel a bit out of breath, you can always use that to calm yourself down. You've got your flashlight, you, you also got your settings. And then finally, for the menu options, if you scroll from left to right, you'll go into a very famous um, Apple lookalike menu. Once again, with your crown, you can uh, zoom in or zoom out if you need to. The animation is astonishing. It's really, really smooth. I'm really impressed with the animation. And each and every button in here is uh, functional. So no dead icons whatsoever. You can click on each and every one of those um, and it will do something. So for instance, you can, you can click on music. It really, it really depends on what you prefer, what you really like to use. So for instance, some people will use this menu, some people will always go to this menu and appreciate the moment of the animation and so on. Uh, so yeah, it's really up to you. So now let's jump into the um, software. Let's jump into the app uh, that connects this watch to the phone and take a look at this. Right, let's, let's have a quick peek at the DaFeed app. Um, so the first page is it's very common. Uh, you you can see all your major information. So things like how many steps you've done, um, the sleep tracking, heart tracking, blood pressure tracking, all those good things in outdoor running, last last exercise. So all of it you can see it immediately. Obviously none of it is displayed on my screen at the minute because I had to reconnect the watch to my phone because currently they've been used by my wife. So she she stores all the information on her phone. On the second page, we can see that the, the watch is connected to the phone. We've got 73% uh, battery life left. If we click on watch faces, you've got one watch face, two, three, four, five watch faces. However, the fifth watch face is customizable. So if you click on edit, you can upload a picture of your choice. You can change the colors. You can change the position of date, time, whatever. So you can play with that. And also if you scroll, well not scroll, but if you look down below, you can see it says discover more dials. So if you click on that, this is where you'll find all the extra watch faces which you can download and you can, you can use on your watch. They have been upgraded since the P8 um, release. Uh, so some of them will be new. Um, and I'll scroll them carefully and you can actually take a look uh, what sort of watch faces you can download and what watch faces you can use. As always, uh, with this amount of watch faces, everyone will find a watch face to their taste. Um, and because it's a P8, and because it's a Call Me and it's a DAF feed, uh, chances are this library will be expanding quite rapidly and there will be more watch faces uploaded uh, in the near future. Because the, the watch came out just not long ago, like less than a month ago. So therefore, um, you know, there, there's a room, room for improvement. So in the near future, we'll probably see more watch faces. So that's that. And then you go to down to the notifications. Very straightforward, very simple. Um, you can receive uh, notifications about your phone calls, your text messages, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, WeChat, Instagram, Skype, Kakao, Talk, Line, and 
If that's not enough, just click others and then all of the information from your phone will be redirected to your, phone, to your watch. You can set your alarms. Uh, you can have one, two, three alarms. You can set different time uh, and you can turn it on and off in the app. Shutter, so that's when you want to take a picture of yourself, like a selfie. You put your phone on a tripod, you walk away and you use your watch as a controller. Um, then you've got others, basically lots of other settings that you can choose, including the what's called physiological cycle reminder. It's basically just like a menstrual um, cycle reminder for uh, girls, for women. Uh, you can input some information and your watch will remind you when it's due to start, when it's going to finish and all the good, good things. And you've got your upgrade. Uh, I've, also, I've also done my upgrade, so my software has been upgraded. And finally, you've got a third page, which is like your profile, which says about you. Uh, you can set a goal for how many steps a day you want to take. Uh, you can also connect the Feed app to your Google Health uh, or um, Apple Health apps, which, whichever you use. Right, so to summarize today's video, what I like about the watch is the overall look. I like the, um, the inner, inner world of the watch. I like the way it looks. I like all the options. I, I love that you can actually see the weather for the whole week. Um, also, the, like I said, the animation is very stunning. And the amount of watch faces that can be downloaded is, is just mind blowing. So that's really good. They always been very good at that. And let me just remind you again, I'm not, so, I'm not a sponsored, I'm not supported by Call Me, but the only reason why I'm always saying that if you want to have the same experience as I had with my products, you better follow the links to the sellers on AliExpress that I've purchased my stuff from. So this watch came from official store, Call Me official store, and I'll leave the link down below. So if you want to have the same experience, just follow the link and you will love it. Also, this watch comes in many different um, options, like color options. So for instance, you don't have to have gold. You can have it in black, you can have it in silver, you can have it in pink. You can have it in pink with a pink strap and yeah. I'm just really happy that this legend is back and they're continuing with it and they're improving it and it's just, it's so good. So thank you very much for watching. If I have missed any information that you interested in, don't hesitate, comment down below and I'll do my best to answer any of the questions that you have. And I'll see you guys in the next one.